Okay, the clock is ticking. Day 14 of our one hour workout video. One hour per day is what we're doing. Um, got a late start today because I was working on the other site. Uh, if you're on the other site, which is um, the new site is the war against obesity. I started that YouTube channel because the original foundation came from the Duchess, T-H-A-D-U-T-C-H-E-Z, uh, from my... Um, From, from that other page, from my other page. Uh, I'm going to bring all my channels to um, one page so people can find me, though. But, um, yeah, so we're getting kind of like a late start today. Because um, I had already, I had to upload like 13 videos to the new site. So all the videos that's on the Duchess. That has to do with the one hour workout. Um, they are now they are now on the other YouTube channel. If you search the war against obesity, you know I just figured I would separate. You know, you know I would separate because I am gonna get back down to my music production. And um, anybody that's watching, um, that's here, you know, clicking on my videos uh, about the one day uh, workout, one hour a day workout. If you if you're here, and you're on the Duchess site, please go subscribe to the War Against Obesity. That YouTube channel, I think I got a, I opened up a, a Twitter, and you can follow it on Instagram. I don't think it's in the Google search yet, but, um, in the descriptions of the videos on the other YouTube channel, on the war on um the war against obesity where I put those videos uh, I uploaded those videos today over there in the description you will see the the it's you know I have a cash app for it and I have a PayPal for it you know if you click on more in the description of the videos you can see how to donate okay so just want to, um, because it's going to be a bit of confusion for a little while until, you know, I finalize how this is going to go. Oh, my thing came apart. I don't want to waste time today. <laughs> Look, how will you put your feet in this thing? It came, it came apart. <clears throat> How did I do that? How did I do that? Now I gotta put this back together. I wish um, Everlast made everything because I would just buy all my equipment from Everlast because <laughs> that's their name brand. And that's what they be trying to live up to that their products last forever. So, so this thing is made by something else. Wilder or somebody else, but it's coming apart. <sighs> but it's good. That's real good. So in our first um, week, you know, you know, I guess the videos from one, one through seven days I had lost like 10 pounds. I was at 220 when I started, and I went down to 210. Sometimes when I get out of a steamy tub, it, it goes down to 207, but it always bounced back up because y'all know about water weight, you know. Anyways, 
after on the second week, which we are ending today, I'm still at 210 because um, I didn't show no weight loss in the second week. <clears throat> Why you ask? I don't know. <laughs> you know, maybe because my my body see that it's trying to store fat because I'm trying to uh, lessen my calorie intake. So I'm not eating that much. I'm not eating meats. I'm not eating rice and all the starch and stuff. I'm just eating little salads and stuff. So maybe my body is trying to store fat, <laughs> you know, to protect me against starvation, <laughs> you know. But actually, I'm trying to <laughs> get rid of this weight. But your body will do that. <clears throat> your body will um, store fat, you know, and slow down your weight loss process. Because the first week, <laughs> it was like 10 pounds easy off. <clears throat> so <laughs> what I be trying to do is I be trying to um, count every every time I come down 10 pounds, be like a celebration for me. <clears throat> so I went from two, 220 to 210, and I celebrated at 210 about a week ago. So it might take me two weeks instead of one week to get off um, 10 pounds, but that still will be okay. <clears throat> Let's see what happens this week. Let's see how I get down. I'm trying to get under 200 pounds because 200 just, I'm like a heavyweight champ. That's just not <laughs> the number for me. <clears throat> I'd be happy when I get to like 180 and below because even at 180, I had like a pot belly. So, you know, that's why I'm working on the abs. I'm working on a midsection every day, but like I said, y'all can work on whatever y'all work on. Just do a little something, um, an hour every day. You know, that's for your health and benefits. You know, because fat causes disease, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, it's good to be in shape, you uh -huh. know? With the pandemic, with the coronavirus and all that stuff. You know, a lot of people's home from work. What are you doing? Sitting around the house and what? You know? You're doing, you know, remote. You know, if you're working remote from home. That means, you know, maybe your job might have you on a Zoom for a little while or, or like me, I was never on a Zoom. We just used to do phone conferences. Uh, so I really didn't have to be dressed unless I had to go out. So if you're remote from home, or you're on unemployment, you're not working, you got time to put in at least one hour of work out, you know. <laughs> you don't have to do what I'm doing. You know, do it, whatever your doctor say you could do and whatever diet your doctor um, Say, you know, say you could do because some people got diabetes already. That's why I'm trying to get my weight down now because usually when you're heavy, you get diabetes. Most people I know get diabetes is because, you know, th their diet, the way they eat, sh salt, sugar, and, and they be obese, you know. Uh, I think a lot of that stuff, cancer and all that stuff, like, all those sicknesses, you know. <clears throat> you know, besides the fact of your hips and your knees, you know, stuff that you gotta walk on. Uh, 
you know, this is like a speech I gave at the beginning of all of my videos. And, uh, and the other thing I always say until I find out what the problem is, if a call comes through, I'm going to lose audio. And I got to figure out why that happens. I'm recording an iPhone um, 12 Pro Max, the new phone. And it's an expensive phone, so there's got to be a solution to that. Like, you know, my other Android phone didn't even lose audio. But for some reason, maybe there's some feature that's on. <clears throat> if you know what it is, let me know. Leave me a comment. Matter of fact, like, subscribe, hit notification, or whatever you got to do. Um, this video is going to go up on the Duchess. And it's um, YouTube, and it's going to go up on the... Um, the war against obesity. So we fighting a war. So I got two sites it's uploading to. Uh, it, it might not always stay that way as, you know, I start getting into um, my music production because I'm also, a, a, I have a bachelor's degree in music production. I'm a music producer. That's what I'm supposed to be doing, but you know, there's things that you're supposed to be doing, but you don't feel good doing it if you're sitting around fat, you know? You know? So now, you know, I'm starting to feel better about myself that, you know, I have a plan, you know? It's a daily plan, you know, to um, drop my weight and get my body in shape, so... Now, when I do my music, I won't feel guilty like, oh, I'm just eating and going to the computer and, and, and messing around in the studio. <sighs> and then, like, with the music, I'm learning Ableton Live. I bought the, the whole big, the latest, um, the suite. That was about $1,000. <clears throat> but in school, I learned the logic and we learn Pro Tools, but those programs, they um, they have a lot of stopping and stalling, like there are a lot of complications in those studios. And I find with Ableton, um, it's smooth. It, it doesn't never like stop or the CPU never gets overloaded or whatever. I never have that problem. <clears throat> And you can do a lot of tracks and a lot of, you know, a lot of MIDI and audio, whatever you do. It just, it doesn't um, stall. It doesn't freeze up on you. You know what I'm saying? Like Pro Tools could do and um, Logic. And that's on Apple computers. So Ableton, um, even though, like, their studio is set up kind of opposite from Logic. Logic, everything is on, like, the left side. But with um, Ableton, everything is on the right side. So I'm used to all of the features, you know, functioning features to be on the left side. So that's the only thing, <laughs> you know. It look a little different. I, I got to get used to it. But it's nice. You know, and I paid for it. So, you know, I didn't pirate it because if you make a beat or you make some music or a song that somebody likes, like a producer or a record company likes, they can't do nothing with it if um, you didn't pay for the license, you know, for the program. So that be, you know, messing people up. It took me a while before I learned that. And then once I heard a guy say that, you know, in a, in a, I think in a YouTube video he said that. And um, from there I said, I'm going to buy me. I'm going to figure out around which program, you know, I want. I'm already experienced from school with like three or four of them. Um, 
But the Ableton I was shying away from because now you got to learn a new program, you know. <clears throat> and that's why people shy away from it because the time it's going to take for them to learn it. But it's really not. If you know other programs, it's really not that hard. Just get the book. And there's a whole bunch of YouTube videos on it. Like there's a whole bunch of YouTube videos on everything else. <sighs> you know. If you get stuck on a, on a particular feature or something like that, you know. So, yeah. So, the War Against Obesity is going to be on its own YouTube channel. It's going to be on its own website, you know, and everything. So, it's going to have its own social media. <clears throat> it got its own uh, cash app and PayPal you know, where you could donate to. So, you you know, if you want to donate to the Duchess because um, you're on the Duchess site of uh, the Duchess Cash App or whatever. But if you on um, the War Against Obesity um, in those videos, um, I don't put the Duchess Cash App. I just put the, um, the Cash App, the War Against Obesity, okay? You know how people start out from their garages, and you see how I am. You see my Benz is in the background. You see my closet. I'm just in the hallway on the floor on the mat. I got my yoga mat on a little slim piece of carpet. Everything else is tile. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My coat is hanging from the closet over here. And over here next to the bathroom, I got the heavy bag. We'll be working on the heavy bag in a few minutes. But I do a lot of talking, you know, because I don't just don't want it to be boring, you know, so people could come back and see, you know, what I'm talking about today, you know, what's in the news for today. But at the beginning, I always repeat uh, a lot of things, you know, when I'm on the floor, like, um... You know, talk to your doctor and make sure. You know, me also, I let you know that I'm wearing a back brace because I have a bad back, you know. So I know some people might be disabled, uh, can't do certain things. But like I said, do whatever you can. If you move your arms in a circle, if you could wiggle side to side, you know what I'm saying? But you know. Talk to your doctor, you know. I say it in every video, because don't, don't sue me. I ain't got no money anyway if you try. But this is, like, really not for people that's fit, because, you know, you could go to other videos and YouTube and find people that's doing you know, good sit-ups and, you know, they might be doing it without the thing, you know. They might be doing, you know, reps of this, you know, sets of this, sets of that. They they, they might have, like, ten different workouts, and they probably do it in good form. And But um, what I'm trying to do you know, is to show um, my obesity. Like, I'm not trying to wait till I get down small and then get on video and be like, come on, y'all, let's get it together. No, I'm trying to show the struggles of me working out, the struggles of me doing a sit-up, all the help I need to do a sit-up, you know what I'm saying? You know, how hard it is for me to bring my legs forward how thick the thighs are. Thick. How big the butt is, how big the stomach is. I want to show you that I'm obese, you know. I want that to be on camera. So, you know, I could have believers. We're going to form a club. We're going to stay in it together, and every day we're going to do a one-hour workout. <clears throat> 
I'm just getting, you know, the particulars together. And then, um, um, I just keep you all informed about the progress. <coughs> If we could get a, a, a bigger spot, if y'all donate, or maybe we get a sponsor, somebody donate, and um, maybe donate a, a gym or donate a house somewhere where we could put more machines and have more space, you know? But that's not no excuse, because look at me. I'm right in the hallway. Next to a closet, stuff is over there. You see Benzes in the back, filled with books. <clears throat> there ain't nothing in there but books, stuff I should get rid of. You know, you get older and you start becoming like a, a hoarder, you know, or whatever, you know. But <clears throat> I don't know why I didn't lose weight this week. Am I not working out hard enough? Am I doing too much talking? <clears throat> but I'm not rushing it because if we're going to be doing this every day, like I said, don't work out real hard today and then tomorrow. You'd be like, oh, I'm in so much ache and pain. I'm staying in the bed. I'm not doing nothing. I don't want to be like that. So I'm just taking it in stride. Like I said, 90% of this is your diet. Because if, I don't care how much you work out, if you turn around and eat a big plate of food and starch and rice and, and the mac and cheese and chicken and, and pig feed and all that stuff, you might as well forget it. <laughs> you know? Forget about it. You know? <sighs> I started at 10 today, so one hour workout till about 11. And then it's probably going to take me another hour to, for YouTube to upload it and process. Uh, so it might be up by 12 or 12.30, but regardless of... If you catch my video every day or not, do your one hour workout so we all can show a success rate, you know? And like I said, if nobody's watching me, uh, it's for myself. It's for my own records. It's, you know, I could look at back at my own videos and say, oh, look where I was, you know? Christmas of uh, 2020 leading into, um, you know, 2021. And it was 220 pounds. And then by the time the summertime come around, you know, should be before the summertime, I'll be down to 150, 140. <laughs> that'll be, that'll be sweet, <laughs> you know. My birthday is July 29th, so I'm looking for success right there. <clears throat> but like I said, if you're not disciplined with your with your appetite, with your um, diet, just eliminate some things for right now. Maybe eliminate the pork first, you know what I'm saying? And then you might want to eliminate, maybe eliminate something that's easier to eliminate, um like ground beef or the steak, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you eliminate chicken, you know, that's the hardest thing because that's made in so many ways, you know, that you could crave for, you know. Whatever you do, make it realistic for yourself, you know what I'm saying? Even if, even with the um, starches, you know, if you say, well, I'm not going to be eating no more potatoes, I'm going to have a little rice on the side, you know, try to make it brown rice, you know. 
And like I said, don't fill up your stomach till you feel like, oh, I'm full. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you do it with water, it'll probably be okay. You know what I'm saying? Because water, you could just pee that out. But, you know, you want to shrink your stomach. You don't want to stretch it, you know. Or you don't want to keep it the same size. So the purpose is, is to kind of like eat like a kid, you know. That's my thing. <clears throat> and then we're going to punch on the punching bag. Once we come off the floor, anybody that's new to my channels, welcome. <clears throat> this video is going up on two different channels, the Duchess and the War Against Obesity. And I might cut off, you know, cut it off from the Duchess. Because, you know, like I say, <clears throat> I usually do like celebrity gossip over there. And I want to get more into music, so I'm going to start cleaning up my channels for, you know, different channels to do specific things, you know. <sighs> you know, so I, I have a few... Maybe about five or ten people that's watching on the um, the Duchess. I just want y'all, if y'all here for this one hour workout, um, these workouts is being moved to the War Against Obesity. The, T-H-E, War Against Obesity, okay? Oh, I think it's a good cause because so many Americans are, you know, obese, you know? And it causes, you know, health problems. Like they say, the coronavirus is, you know, a virus that's a pandemic, but obesity is a pandemic. Cancer is a pandemic, diabetes is a pandemic, all that stuff is a pandemic. <sighs> black on black violence is a pandemic. <laughs> Shoot. <clears throat> yeah, so we wanna talk about that. Um so I guess some people got some boxing gloves for Christmas and um you know, in the celebrity news or the YouTubers news, there's some boxing matches that might be going down soon. <sighs> and I'll be watching y'all. I'll be watching y'all pop a lot of crap to each other. <clears throat> they be arguing back and forth on video. So now they set up like this celebrity boxing match. I guess the celebrities or the YouTubers that got, you know, the more subscribers, the more views and likes, you know, those ones that, you know, get a lot of action and do a lot of, you know, live and stuff and got a good following. You know, they've been arguing back and forth. <laughs> and <laughs> And they all claim to be street gangsters. And um, I'm not laughing because I'm not doubting none of that. I believe you. But um, ex old gangsters or OGs or whatever, uh, whatchamacallit, a lot of y'all are out of shape and heavy. You need to be working out before y'all get into that ring because one punch. <laughs> to your chest and it's going to be embarrassing that you call it quits if you're out of shape and your opponent just pop you in your chest and you be winded and you be like i don't want no more you're not gonna look good at all you know and then you're gonna want to you know shoot somebody you know what i'm saying then you're gonna be looking for your shooters you know? So, get ready. I'm looking forward to y'all um, 
What's that? What's that? That um, Floyd Mayweather be doing like before the fight? They do like a training camp and they put it on video. They work out. They stop having sex. No sex while you're training for your fight. <laughs> You know, no no drugs and alcohol. You know, just strictly working out. Getting up in the morning, go jogging. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't know. You could die in the rain. Don't play with it. I wouldn't play with it. Niggas has died in the rain. So don't think just a gun could kill you. A nigga could knock your ass out of the ring or knock you down and your head bang on the canvas and you know I don't know what kind of boxing ring y'all gonna be in but it's probably not the the most professional one <laughs> it probably got wood at the bottom <laughs> and you bust your head and, and you be dead in there so be in shape get on your toes <clears throat> I would say don't take a quick fight I'm hearing that they might be having one in March 6th. Might just be a little bit close. So, because you got January, February. You got two months to train. You only got two months to train. Like, you know, you really want to get down and you really want to get fit because once you do the first fight, somebody else want to challenge you and then you got to hold the belt and you have to hold the title. So, I know y'all not just, you know, with the money that you're going to receive, it should also be a belt, you know? And you should be the champ, you know? And then if you're the champ, right, somebody else is going to want to come and um, you got to, you know, you got to hold that spot. Somebody's going to want to knock you out your spot and take your belt. So... <sighs> <clears throat> you know, and you know, like I think Floyd Mayweather should step in and you know give somebody an ex ex exhibition fight. The person that works out the hardest and get their body in shape and show that they, you know, yeah, I was out of shape and I dropped my weight and you know I worked out, you know, <sighs> or you know, I guess. Not Floyd Mayweather, because, you know, he be getting like $100 million to come into the ring. Like, But some boxers should step in and sponsor and help, because it's a good thing, you know. It's a good thing. The only way it's a bad thing is that you have mismatch fights. Or you, like you have the one where... The guy King Erna supposed to fight Paparazzi Poe. King Erna got problems with Alpo, which is the person, the big man. He, a man should be fighting man, not this man should be fighting his, his son. Like, okay, I'm going to get in the ring. I'm going to beat your son up. You know what I'm saying? But who knows? Let's see what Paparazzi Poe got because... He he been in jail all his youth and all that stuff like that. You know, he got his jailhouse stories too. You know, sometimes he get a little thick. But I went to his Instagram and he looked like he's in good shape. <laughs> and behind the scenes, people might be working out. And you just don't know. Now, we got to see, is having youth on your side better than having, uh, like, King Erna is like a thick guy, you know? But he's older, so, you know. They be talking a lot of stuff on YouTube, but a lot of them probably have bad backs, a bad leg, you know what I'm saying, or bad knees. You know what I'm saying? You know, they've been around here for a while, so they might have some injuries.
Uh, that's keeping them grounded. But, yeah. It's a good idea. I would say it's a good idea just to get people, you know, to show, to start something where if somebody have a beef against somebody, they could line up in, in their boxing match thing, you know what I'm saying, instead of going and shooting each other, you know what I'm saying? So it's showing that the youth, the kids that, you know, we could do this in another progressive way that could earn you probably more money than what you're getting in your rap, you know, your rap career, your rap music. You know, you're not selling no records. But come, come box it out with, you know, the person that you feel like you got to beef with, you know. I think that's cool. Only problem with this situation is that, you know, if you're going to have killers boxing, and then they're going to bring their entourage, you know, their gang entourage, I guess the Bloods, the Crips, whatever gang that they affiliated with, and their peoples is not going to want to see their man in the ring getting beat up. So they might jump in the ring and hurt you and kill you right there in the ring. So it, it will have to be, you know, the company have to have some good security, you know, and metal detectors, you know. <clears throat> you know. But it's better than, you know, the guns picking up the, you know, picking up the guns and stuff. You know, put the guns down and, you know, go to the gym and learn how to fight or, you know, get your body in shape. Uh, and learn some technique, you know. Stop doing so much smoking cigarettes and weed and drinking and popping pills because you can't come in that ring drowsy. You can't come in there with your, with your lungs all congested. Or with asthma. If you got asthma, if any of those guys that's matching up got asthma, I would advise you, you know, not to do it, you know. So you get in, get in the ring and have an asthma attack. So I usually stay on the um, floor for only like a half an hour, but lately, I've been going longer, <clears throat> like 35 minutes, and today it looked like I'm going to 40 minutes. And then we'll get on the punching bag. And the reason why, you know, I'm staying down here longer is because my main thing is my stomach, you know. I got the ab booster coming when the ab booster come. I may do the unboxing you know, on video, or I might just put it together and just get the working out on it, you know. Uh, you know, incorporate some of my machines, make some of my own investments, and, you know, everybody just work remotely from home, and it's this thing have a pass, maybe we could open up a gym. <clears throat> you know, and grow and, and make a franchise out of it. <sighs> because there's definitely obese people all across the world. <clears throat> You know, some people can't help it because they're family, you know. You have traits from your family and, you know, it's hard to, you know, fix it, you know. Like me, I think my pot belly, my father had a pot belly. 
Okay, so we 40 minutes on the floor. I'm gonna get up for any any one of y'all that's new. Uh, I'll show you the, the second part of my little workout that I do for myself, basically. I'm talking like I got, you know, members. <laughs> But uh, I guess I'll just practice talking like I got people. Uh, uh, for the future, when I do have, you know, people don't join until they, they see success, you know. And they see you getting money and success and blowing up and then they want to join late, you know what I'm saying? Join now, you know, get down with me now. So I could know who started with me from the beginning. Like my butt is aching. And my lower back is still aching, but you know, I'm still doing this. No pain, no gain. And so we're just gonna roll up this mat. This yoga mat, I could I'll put this up. I'm just in my little messy house. Turn this over here. <clears throat> Get up off this floor. <clears throat> I'm stiff today. I can't really get up off real loud. Let me angle this camera better. Ooh. I was down on the floor before, you know, I got the thing recording, but um before I started recording, and I said, let me get down first. Let me um Let me get down on the floor before I start the recording so that they don't see in my struggles getting down there. My body flopped to the floor. So I just rolled up my little equipment because you don't want to keep this on the floor. You don't want everybody walking over this because Doing so we ain't got that much time left. We only gonna have 15 minutes. I usually spend 15 minutes on the um doing the punching bag. I mean um, a half an hour on the punching bag. But I'm starting to stay on the floor longer. Get a paper towel. Wipe the sweats. Yeah, because I get a better sweat. I get I get a better sweat from the um I get a better sweat from the um sit ups than I do here. You know what I mean? Sometimes I punch the bag and jog in place, you know. Cause I know people like to go to the gym and be on a treadmill and stuff like they running and jogging and stuff. Or some people like to go out and, and jog, but you don't really want to be out there passing by too many people and somebody coughing, you breathing the coronavirus. You know what I'm saying? So I got this here. Anybody who that, that's new here, I got this Everlast Power Core. And at the bottom, you know, I had put this together on camera. I did an unboxing. Some people put sand and rocks at the bottom, you know, to hold it sturdy because it'll move when you punch it. The bottom part is like a, just a bucket. Let me see if I can show you. You see that bottom part? And it's like a bucket. You got screws right here. So it's a big bucket. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just want to show you. And then these gloves right here, $60, they match. Anybody that's new. But I also get the um, the little karate gloves where the fingers be out. You know, when I'm doing, you know, when I'm on the floor and stuff. And then um, I had got the gloves for the bag because 
I was punching a bag with the with the karate gum um, with the karate gloves and then I felt it in my in my hand bones. You know what I'm saying? I hurt my hand one day, so <clears throat> we're gonna get right. Don't worry about it. Anybody got any suggestions? Any um workout that you know they think I should incorporate that I'm ready for because like the push-ups I usually start out trying to you know do a push-up or something but <clears throat> so I kind of like do a little twist or leg lifts while I'm punching I'm gonna try to bust a sweat because the main thing is, you know, I'm just trying to bust a sweat. I'm not trying to show no boxing techniques. I'm not trying to get in the ring with nobody because I'm quite good, sure some tough girls out there to be like, boom, 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 get right in there and come to my, you know, go for my head. <laughs> you know? Hit me in a kidney and I'll be out for the count. You know? So, you guys, that's. You YouTubers that are planning on going into the ring, you know, they're going to probably have you sign a contract where, you know, if you die or if you get seriously injured, you can't sue them. You know what I'm saying? So just be careful and be sure that that's what you want to do. And be sure that if you lose the fight, that you're not such a sore loser that you're going to want to take it to the streets, you know what I'm saying? Like, this, you know, you have to do it like a real, you know, like the real boxing professionals, you know? You know, do it like the real boxing professionals. You know, whoever wins, the hands go up, they get the belt, whoever lose, you know, they be a good sport and leave peacefully, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of the YouTubers, the problem with it is, is that a lot of the YouTubers been talking real hard, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, been, you know, talking real hard and stuff like that, so, you know, at each other and stuff like that. And somebody might come to that event and they might not even be part of the, you know, they, they might not even be one of the opponents. Somebody might come there just to meet you there because, you know, you talk some stuff about them or, you know, in your celebrity commentating or whatever about different things that's happening and different things in Chicago. They might want to meet you there about talking about their dead homies or something or, you know, I mean, it's entertaining, you know, that people want to click on because it's like a clickbait. Like, oh, I'm laying around the house. I don't have nothing to do. You know, uh, King Ern will be interesting. Or, you know, Hassan Campbell will be interesting. Or, you know what I'm saying? You know, you, you, you know sometimes it's, it's clickbait because we know um, y'all gonna be cold-hearted about, you know, you know, y'all saying the things that other people don't want to say or they scared to say. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, we we don't want people coming at us, coming at coming at us, and we raising kids. You know what I'm saying? And we older people, and some of us as parents, and some of us as grandparents. You know what I'm saying? So, but if this is a way to you know, squash everything or to, you know, get your revenge through the boxing and leave it at that, that is, that's good. But if you think you can't leave it at that, you know what I'm saying, like, your opponent get the best of you, But, you know, and, but you think that everything that's, that you think that you're a better YouTuber than he is, 
that you speak better than him or, you know, you more solid or, you know, or you got more followers and you don't think that that person should be able to beat you. <laughs> because it's going to be all over the YouTube. You know, whatever happens to you in that ring. If you get knocked down and get back up, that's going to be on there. And if you get knocked out cold, that's going to be on there. If you get knocked out of the ring, that's going to be on there. You know what I'm saying? And the person that wins is going to be standing over you like, Yeah, hey, I told you, I told you, taunting you, you know? So if you can't take all that, don't do it. But with all the shit that everybody talk, all y'all YouTubers talk, um, nobody should be backing down. You know? Nobody should be backing down. Because you done talked a good one. <laughs> you talked a good one. And I was telling them, you know, step up to the plate. And show you could knock a nigga down. I wouldn't want to see nobody, you know, get killed in the, in the ring. Like, you know, but... There's a whole bunch of mismatch going on. Like, they got, um, what's that guy named Gully TV and JoJo Capone? You know, like, Gully looked like he might be a tall, in shape. He looked like he's a trainer. I think he's a, a, a gym trainer or something like that, right? So he's tall and he's already in shape, right? And then Jojo, even though he has a street name, it seems like, I don't know him, but, you know, other than what I see online, but, you know, I think he come from Chicago, from one of the hardest places. I'm not going to put nothing past any man, you know, even a skinny man, you know, or, 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 or a fat guy. You know, they all got power. You'd be surprised at somebody that you be thinking that's out of shape, but they be running a long distance, or they be, or they could dance. You ever see those people, them heavy set people that could dance? You know what I'm saying? So, like, you, you never know, but. I guess it'll be entertainment. It's some more entertainment. If you leave it at entertainment, that'll be that. You know what I'm saying? That'll be good for the for the viewers. Even though everybody gonna want to come out to be the you know on top the winner. You know what I'm saying? But it'll, it'll be good. You know, other than that, you know, just boring sitting there in front of the camera, your same background scenery, and you just talking the same thing. It's kind of like you're repeating yourself. Every time, you know what I'm saying? Every time a, nigga, a rap nigga get killed, you're saying the same thing. Because I was doing the same thing, you know? And that's why I said, I just can't be sitting here. I used to be in my room, on my bed, sitting down and pressing record and sitting there with my fat belly on the bed talking about other people. I decided instead of, you know, just to incorporate a little workout in my celebrity gossip. I'm still talking, but <laughs> I can't stop talking because I like to talk about the things that's happening and stuff. But, you know, I got to try to get in shape. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't feel good being fat, you know? I have a good feeling, I gotta watch my diet, I'm older, you know what I'm saying? So, we don't always gotta, you know, just cause you're old in 40s and 50s and 60s, and however old y'all are, 70s, 80s, no matter how old you is, that doesn't mean that you have to be fat and out of shape because I'm getting ready to die, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I won't be around that long. Like I met one guy, 
and he said he used to get up every morning and do power walks and stuff. And then he said to he said he said to himself, "What am I doing this for?" And I'm you know I'm 80 years old. What am I doing this for? <laughs> Well, there's some people that's living to be a hundred, and there's some people starting to live to be a hundred and four and a hundred and ten. So, and you don't know if scientists is gonna, you know, uh, stop the aging process if they could um, find out how to stop the aging process. You know, it's just your cells is dying off and your genes are dying, dying off. So if they could duplicate that and, um, you know, stop the aging process, you, we might be around here longer. You know what I'm saying? You know, not everybody going to want that to be around here forever, but. You know, for those of us that got goals and want to, you know, live to see something and um, leave behind our kids and our grandkids and stuff, you know, we need more time in the day. It's not enough time in the day right now. You know what I'm saying? You know, not to know like when you gonna die, you know what I'm saying? So the best thing to do, whether it's for a boxing match or for anything, just start eating right and make it become an everyday practice, you know? And the only way I'll stop working out every day is if my doctor say, you know, it's affecting me in a bad way, you know what I'm saying? This thing could slide up and down, like I could slide it down a couple of notches. You see the notch right there, I could slide it down so I could reach it. So we only got about two more minutes and a half more minutes. But you know, I think it's a good idea. But King Erna fighting Alpo's son instead of fighting Alpo? Right. So you think you're just going to talk about the man being a rat and then you're going to go in there and beat up on his son? Uh, but no, paparazzi folk probably got a surprise for us. Oh, yeah, I didn't know I could do this. I'm to tag this nigga up and be all around the ring and doing footwork and moving and making that nigga run and be out of shape. And be like, I give up. And then you give him a good uppercut. Wow. You yeah. don't know what's going to happen in that ring. And then the other one, and then if Paparazzi Poe is getting, if King Ernest is getting the best of Paparazzi Poe, and Alpo said he gonna wanna come in there and you know and get this nigga because this nigga been doing talking. When you beating up my son? Oh no. We we not having that. We not we we going out like the champs. We're not going out like the losers. We're going out like the champs. And then the other one for um, Jojo Capone, if you ain't in shape, start getting, don't lay up in that bed. Get up out that bed, do some jogging. You probably already know how to throw them punches. And in your head, the thing about us older people in our head, we think, you know, everything is the same as when we were younger. Until you try to do a, a flip or a black flip or, a, you know, until you try to do it. You know what I'm saying? Until you try to run. You know what I'm saying? You can't run no more. Oh, I can't even run no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, before you get to that ring, don't just let um, March 6th or whatever date that is 
creep up on you and then, you know, you think you just gonna walk in that ring like that. It don't work like that. Okay, so I, I was up. I think it was a little cheesy today, but like I said, anybody that's on my Duchess site, uh, I'm starting to upload these one hour videos to the war against obesity. Okay, so I got all the websites and I got the YouTube channel. So go over there because I might stop uploading it on the Duchess um, site. Okay, so one hour workout every day. We done for the day. Peace. I'm out, y'all. Y'all be safe out there.